Awesome. Well, hey, I, was, I think I was going to save this question for the very end of the, the chat, but Ash, I'm going to ask you right now. Everyone, no matter what piece of video we post, no matter what we say, no matter what thing we release, they say this is great, but when is the damn game coming out? Ash, I will ask you right now. <laughs> when is the release date? What do you got? So, so whilst we don't have a confirmed release date, uh, we are working towards uh, an internal date uh, with our own milestones, and we have a roadmap, you know, to that to that end goal, right? Um, we will be going early access uh, in terms of of you know launching this on 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 Steam, um, and you know there's there's a few things that we've 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 done to essentially get to that decision, right? In terms of you know we know there's been a very long wait in 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 uh, you know people waiting for a boxing game. You know, I include myself as, as, as one of the people that are saying, you know, when's the boxing game coming out, you know? Um, but at the same time, we've just got to make sure that, um, you know, we don't cut corners uh, and we, we deliver um, a really good experience. And, you know, there's things that from day one that I wanted to make sure we were able to nail. And, and, and I wouldn't be happy within myself or the studio for us to release something that, you know, we're not entirely satisfied with. So, so at the moment, as I said, you know, there, there's some key milestones coming up uh, in terms of us, us essentially nailing those um, to to get to that to that early access window. Uh, and obviously, you know, as soon as as soon as we we we've hit those, we're confident. Um, you know, we'll give that date. You know, the, the last thing that I want to do, and and look, this has been a learning process for us being a young studio, in 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 you know, I guess being very trying to be as open and transparent as possible about when we're looking to launch. You know, sometimes, you know, if things don't always go to plan or actually mainly in our case, the scope of the project is increasing. I think that's been, um, you know, the main thing for us in terms of, you know, we want to do so many things uh, and, and, and really it's about nailing down uh, and, and, and really delivering uh, an excellent boxing game without trying to, you know, do 300 things at once. So, so you know, as part of that early access process, um, you know, there's things that we're going to include. Uh, and then there's things that we're going to bring in as part of that early access roadmap. So, you know, things like career mode, you know, won't be in day one on early access. Um, that'll be a feature uh, that will be um, brought in as part of early access, but not on, on, on day one. Um, so, so for us right now, uh, the, there's a lot of focus in terms of, you know, making sure we absolutely nail the in-fight mechanics. Um, also, you know, online is going to be a very big part of this as well. And Will, from your experience, typically speaking, not saying this can be our trajectory, but after an early release, uh, after you launch on early release, typically how long after a release do you do a full release on either Xbox, PS4, PS5? How long does that generally take? It really depends. I mean, I think there's no sort of straightforward answer to that. I mean, a lot of it is going to have to do with what our players say about the game and how they feel about the, the experience, right? Um, one of the cool things about early access is that you kind of get to build the game alongside your community with the feedback that they give you. Um, so Ash talked about, you know, there's going to be features that will ship during early access, like a career mode. Some of those things may take some time. Uh, but I think, you know, as we, you know, get into that early access window and people start playing, we'll have a, we'll have a sense. We'll have some things that we'll probably communicate like, hey, here's some features that we're going to deliver during early access for so that the people that are playing will have things to look forward to. Um, and then, you know, obviously we want to get there to that full release as fast as we possibly can, but to Ash's point at the quality, right. That, that we, that we is our sort of bar uh, that we have to hit. We have to feel good about what we're doing. So we're going to go into early access, feeling confident about the game and how it plays. Um, and then we're going to look at what the community says and, and take it from there. But we're excited about it because, you know, doing it this way really does mean that people will get to play, you know, sooner rather than later. Um, and, you know, we'll finally be able to get some of that player feedback that we're excited about. Awesome. Well, you said well, just a couple more questions, and I'm sure that uh, Sonny will like to hear the answer to this one. How many weight classes are we going to have, Ash? Uh, so we will start with eight weight classes. Um, and then and, and that will essentially expand as the as the game progresses post early access, you know. Um, so so we, it won't launch with, you know, the supers uh, or the juniors, depending on how you look at things. Um, they'll, they'll have the, the, the blended weight classes, essentially. So, you know, your bantamweights, um, middleweights, you know, through to the heavyweights. Um, so, so that's essentially what we're going to be doing with the weight classes. 
Uh, and as our roster gets added, more and more fighters added into the game, then, you know, we'll start bringing in, you know, super welterweight, you know, super middleweight. Um, because, you know, right now, it just, it'll just feel weird, right? Where you'll have, you know, maybe seven or eight welterweights and then, you know, you'll have one super welter. So, so yeah. we're, we're, we're merging those, those, those divisions together, um, you know, during our initial release. And Sonny, how have you noticed, like, for instance, playing with someone your weight class versus playing as a character like Tyson Fury? Do the punches look better and the footwork look better on the smaller fighters compared to the large ones or vice versa? Yeah, I think it, um, it scales down quite well. We even had, like, a, a little play about with the flyweight and the heavyweight and whatnot. Um, and you can see the difference. You can see the speed. You can see the, the slight nuances. Even the punches might come out a bit quicker and... You can you can definitely feel the difference, um, like visually. You can see the difference. So um, it will just be how I, I guess the the game scales the size because obviously heavyweight fights tend to look different to a flyweight fight, tend to end different to a flyweight fight. So yeah, I think the whole big range will probably you know it will it'll be interesting. You'll probably see uh, fans of the game finding a particular weight class that they'll choose to dominate, and it probably won't just be because of the actual fighters in there, it might also be how their play style, how they tend to like to play. If they want the faster, longer fights, or if they want the chance to go in there and bomb someone out over a couple of rounds, probably more likely as a heavyweight, landing the right shots and more power behind them, and probably less likely and more likely to get a 12 round, you know, back and forward, people get put down, people get up in a flyweight fight. So I think that will help find people in how they want to play the game as well, because the weight classes will see a difference as you as they scale up and, and and you can already see it in the movement patterns the rhythms the you know just how quick they're moving in and out so it's yeah definitely yeah, right and, and there's been some questions about the, the